Okay, what's this all about? <clears throat> Debbie? Debbie who? La oh, Lauer. Oh, see, that's where he caught me off guard. I, uh, I actually know Debbie by a couple other names that uh, you may or may not know. Um, well, there's, there's Crazy Debbie, there's Red Sauce Lauer, and then there's my baby mama. So let me explain a little bit. <clears throat> um, one of the more poignant or pugnant uh, memories I have of uh, Debbie is uh, that uh, she and Bill uh, went with Heather and I on a whitewater rafting trip uh, up in central Oregon and we all rode together. <clears throat> on the way up there we had spent the night uh, on uh, halfway and had gone to dinner and um, <clears throat> Debbie had had some some sort of pasta with red sauce in it and uh, uh, after that for kind of the rest of the trip we we um, uh, we got to hear Debbie uh, expressing herself if you will so she had the papers um, <clears throat> so anyway she she blamed it on Bill for quite a while of course and and Bill being the uh, gentleman was taking some of the blame but uh, uh, eventually it came out that she said she has a little problem with red sauce uh, that her it affects her in a particular way and so uh, from then on out, anytime there was food around and Debbie was around, I'd ask Debbie to make sure she's checking for the red sauce. And of course, she is then red sauce louder. <clears throat> so the uh, the second one was uh, we'd had a party at our house um, uh, one year for one of the holidays. I don't know if it was Halloween or, or what, but uh, uh, Debbie came and um, introduced herself to our children. Uh, she had we'd not been working together that long. And uh, she was kind of well known to do. She she engaged the children quite actively, and um, uh, apparently at some point in the evening, a WWE event broke out uh, between Debbie and uh, my youngest, Braden, and uh, one of the two got thrown through a closet door. Uh, and so, kind of to this day, you know, when we're talking about our friends and we say, you know, something that refers to Debbie, uh, one of them may look at us quizzically and we say, "Crazy Debbie," and they go, "Oh, yeah, Crazy Debbie, I remember her." Right, so that's crazy, Debbie. Um, and then, uh, after having the distinct pleasure of working with Debbie for uh, several years, uh, I got the opportunity. I was fortunate enough to receive a promotion to the director of business affairs. Uh, you know, big job, big title. I was a very important person at that point. Uh, so a few months after I took my promotion, uh, I'm in my office, and Halloween comes around, and. Um, Debbie didn't have the uh, the good sense to stay on her side of the track or on uh, the correct side of professionalism uh, and good taste, and she showed up in my office as the pregnant prom queen, uh, gave birth, and uh, uh, and shouted that the child was mine. And so these new colleagues that I was working with in business affairs at the time were like, oh my God, who is this freak, and why does she know our director? <laughs> so... Uh, good times, good times. Anyway, so that's crazy mama Debbie. Uh, Debbie. Um, but in all seriousness, uh, the one name that I haven't really referred to her to that I should have is probably uh, my best hire. Um, Debbie was a wonderful addition to our workplace and business services and um, over time to my group of good friends. Um, it amazes me what an impact one person like Debbie can have on the morale of an entire group. Uh, no one was ever capable as she was of uh, starting fun and, and making laughter erupt with a group of people and, and, and helping keep morale high. Um, I'm 3,000 miles away and I can already feel how much she'll be missed there. Debbie, we love you.